So here's what we're working at. These go right over here. This one, as you can see, I managed to get in, no problem. It's been cut, fitted, pretty much ready to go. I need to do a little cleanup just to make sure it sits flush when I do my glue up. This one goes right here, equivalently, right behind it. Problem is, I don't know how to get it in there. I'm hoping when I cut out the center section of this that it'll have enough flex and give that I'll be able to just roll it in there, but as it sits, not happening. Not happening at all. So we're gonna keep playing with it, figure it out. I'm gonna cut and prep the next portion that goes into the 25 segment, uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. So let's get on it. Of course, I did this wrong. I needed to tape it up first. Solution is simple. We'll have to redraw these. Masking tape helps with playing blowout. It helps if I hit record. So, what I'm doing here, these have already been marked. I'll show you on the next port how that's exactly going to look on the other side since I didn't hit record. Orientation's written on the board. It's going to go right in here. I'm taping this off so we don't have blowout when we do our cut because i got to grab my jigsaw over there. We'll get these taped, cut, remarked, and we'll be off to the races. Make this work, I need to do two things. I need clamps, for one. So let me try clamp both pieces directly to the ground, or directly to the table, and then we have smaller clamps just to keep it from bouncing too much. And that keeps a little bit of that flex out of there, and hopefully there's enough give that I can still get it cut. Now we're off for the races. tape and we'll test fit and I don't have my sander with me son of a so we might not be able to finish this piece but we can rough cut it and who knows maybe we got lucky and it'll test fit right away yeah it doesn't quite fit but it's close we're in the vicinity Top was cut right. That one was a little narrow, so that'll need to get trimmed out. I'll do that with a sander tomorrow, though. I'm not going to mess with that tonight. All right, same animal with this one. We'll tape up the four corners. This time we'll do it in advance properly. Mark it, cut it, and we probably won't get it fully test fitted just because uh, this is a challenge. Something I want you to pay attention to. This one went in relatively well. It's just a little, needs a little more material taken off from the side because it's sticking against the glue. See how easy that one went in. Watch what happens when I get this one set and we go to test it. You'll understand a lot more of the troubles because this makes things really difficult. Okay. It's gonna go in here. The question is how? Because it's narrow in the back so getting it to fit properly that's kind of the trick. Plus side we'll get to know if that cuts are good. Uh, at face value cuts are very good. And this one only has a central hole so I don't even know how the heck I'm supposed to get it in here? Short of cutting it in half. What might happen is I end up breaking this first one just to see how the heck I'm going to make it fit. 
I honestly am not entirely sure. Oh, well, they're both cut deep enough. You can measure that right there. All right, we're gonna roll this thing over on its side and see if we can get anything from the bottom. Stand by, I got another step over there. That's not helping. All right, I'm gonna get my sander here in the morning and do some more trim work on that. I'm gonna flip this back on its belly so it's not just sitting like this only. So the challenge we're dealing with right now is I need to glue up both inner webs and the double. That doubler needs at least two clamps. Just because of how it's setting to make sure we get proper bonding and cohesion. I can get by with two on the top, but there's no way I can avoid two on each side just because there's so much slant. I can't put a reverse pressure clamp in. This, I can clamp top and bottom first, make sure it's aligned, put these uppers in there to keep the top pin where it needs to, but the bottoms, because they're not straight, I can't do the reverse clamp because I've got another clamp. So I'm stuck having to use hand clamps, and one is not enough for over there. Or apparently I have six of these, so I do have two left over, so Maybe I do get the whole clamp job done. Rear webs are the priority, double or secondary. I do want to get that done quick though, because that's going to be my seat belt mount for my lap belt. So I would like to get that done sooner than later. All right, I'm going to fight with this a couple more times, do a couple more reps, pull on this one right now, and then we're going to do a blue belt. I think that's what we're going to do.